Yo guys, welcome back to our video, bro. So today we've got a bit of transfer news for Man United. Um, we already know that Sancho is like 80, 90% done. When that deal is completed, I'll be making a video on that. But we've been linked with another player. Uh, we've been linked with a left back. Funny, if you guys don't know, I really, really want a left back. I really want Man United to sign a left back. Uh, just because I'm not the biggest fan of Luke Shaw. But even if Luke Shaw is going to start, Brendan Williams as a left back because he's right footed is I don't know I hate right footed left backs or left footed right back it just doesn't make sense to me bro like how can you come up from the youth and be a left footed right back I mean a right footed left back but to be fair apparently he used to play um on the right back but then because Ethan Led was coming through his role they made him change to left back which I just don't get that I, like I don't, here's the thing, I don't think Brendan Williams is bad. I'm not saying Brendan Williams is bad. I think he's a very solid player. And congratulations as well to him for signing the contract. He signed the contract, if you guys didn't know, to 2024. But we need a proper left back with Luke Shaw. Um, even if Alex Ts, if you guys don't think he's going to start for us, even though I think he's, he, he's easily going to start. But even if he isn't going to start, he's still going to give um, Luke Shaw... A bit of competition that's what we need from each position in my opinion so anyways here it says brazilian fullback touted for old trafford switch man united have identified porto left back alex tiaz as a transfer target as portuguese publication a bowler reports now here's the thing with with um portuguese newspapers they're not reliable at all if i'm going to be honest they are not reliable i mean if like a week ago they said jimenez was on his way to join man united and that we haven't heard anything since so they're not really the most reliable so that's why i'm not really taking this serious even though i really really want it to happen but anyways the red devils won the 27 year old um to come in and provide competition for luke shaw as i just said who is currently sidelined through injury and luke shaw is injury prone as i think everyone knows chelsea have also been linked with alex tiaz as well as i think it looked like it was going to go psg which like, I thought he was going to go PSG a few I think it was like a month or two ago. They said he's most likely going PSG. But let's look at his stats for this season. Let's quickly look at what this guy can offer us. So, his main position is obviously left back. He can play left mid and left wing as well if you really, really need him to. But his main position is left back. He used to play for Inter, Galatasaray. And um, yeah, before that, he used to play for Brazil. So, this season in Liga Nos, he's played 31 games, got 11 goals and 8 assists. 11 goals and 8 assists as a left back that is unbelievable but i'm pretty sure he does take their penalties at the end of the day bro 11 goals in eight games i mean it's still very very good numbers um as well as in europa league he's got one assist in eight games zero, no goals um in the i think the like the fa cup version of portugal he's played five games got one goal two assists um in the alliance cup i, I think that's a preseason thing he's played three games got one goal and in the champions league qualifying he's played two games and got one assist so this guy bro will get you goals and will get you assist as well um and that's what we need luke shaw can pretty much do everything except go forward and that's one of the main reasons why i really really want alex ts in the team is because he can legit do what luke shaw can't do and that's why i really really want him i want him or Dijne from everton if i'm gonna be honest i want either either of them too even though i um, i don't think we're gonna be signing a left back if I'm going to be honest, I don't think we're going to be signing left. I don't see us signing a left back. I think we're going to be going for a center back um, after we get Sancho, hopefully, which might be that Gabriel guy from Lille, which I've made a video on if you guys don't want to check it out. And um, as well as, I think, an attacking mid, like a Van der Beek, something like that. But I think um, Alex Tiaz, if we do go in for him, I'll be a very, very happy man just because I do, I do rate him very, very highly. And uh, yeah, comment down below if you guys do you want him to come comment down below if you guys want us to get linked with another player like a Dijne, maybe a Taglifico, um, Regaluni for, for the guy in Sevilla, plays for Real Madrid. And yeah, there's a lot of left backs out there who are good going forward. And Alex Diaz is one of them. And he also only cost around 32 mil, 30 mil, something like that, which is very, very cheap. He's 27 years old, if you guys don't know as well. And um, yeah, he's obviously in his prime now. Um, I'm not sure if how good he is defensively. I don't really watch Porto that much. I really watch Porto anyways. And uh, yeah, comment down below your thoughts on this. As I said before, make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are already, bro. Comment down below your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching and peace.